two years. Yeah. And he did the PA establishment. Yeah. He lives in New York, got a house in Brittany and in Cambridge. And he's, he's working full time. I actually live in a shed in Cambridge. <laughs> um, so, I wrote to a lot of National Trust places saying I want to come and live in, in your house and um, they wrote back to me saying that's an absurd idea and then one of them wrote back and said yes you can do it. So anyway, so there I was for a month and um, working away way around the lake and um, as you walked around the track just in the distance you could see the Pantheon and, and um, or walking around again you found uh, there was the Temple of Apollo, but my knowledge of, of that sort of mythology was so miserable that I decided to focus on the trees instead. <laughs> and uh, this is, this is uh, uh, called Trees Caught in a Sexual Act and uh, Despised by the Gods and Banished from Heaven Forever. <laughs> there it is. Um, a good place to shelter in the rain. And this is um, inspired by a five or six year old who came to come to me and said, I can see a bear's face. So there it is. And, and then they made me do all sorts of little things, so I kept on doing that. So I deliberately did silly things like made a dancing tree and, and a tree with children's suggestions in it and sort of the, 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 the sort of the frozen orgy and things like that. And, working directly from things that are totally inspiring. Um, I've got a, an exhibition on at Michael House, Monday, December the 13th. I've put a couple of posters up in there, but I'd love to see you there. It'd be really good. It's going on until December 9th, but uh, there's a sort of reviewing um, from 6.30 to 8.30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now with these, what I did was take photographs, take them back to the studio and then work on them from the thing. I'm going to be artist in residence on the streets of New York. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. you know, it's, it's a good way of going about it. Anything's possible, I can tell you. These are um, New York State autumn time. To get the fine lines, sometimes I've used um, coloured pencil. What you do is, like I say, you just simply draw and, and then spray to fix that and then draw on the top again, fix again, fix again. I worked on with washes of um, colour as well. There's so beautiful colours from some of them. Uh, so they really they're mixed media. They're not they're not just purely plastic. This this well it's a stick of graphite and grease mixed together. This broad it, it turns into a broad flat end, but we very quickly get um, dark effects, and it's very dark, very soft. But then. It leaves you with a flat edge, so if you turn that over, you can get fine lines and if you're just using the edge. You don't have to stick it to the back.
Cheers.